Hey Cancer, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for the end of February going into March 2023. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So please do take it resonates and leave the rest. It will not resonate for every Cancer out there. If you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, all the details are in the description box below. I do them video record as well as through Etsy message. You have a pick, you have a choice. Um, and so we're going to start off today with an Oracle card message. Okay, so Cancer, let's jump right into your reading. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I appreciate your love and support of my channel. All right, so Cancer, what's going on? What is the deal with my cancers out there? What do they need to know? Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom, and overflow. Overwhelm and plenty. Oof, I'm seeing that nine of cups energy. Some of you guys, you have a lot of wishes, desires, dreams. And maybe that's something that you're, you're doing right now. You're manifesting, okay? It feels like spirit wants to bless you. Now, I'm getting this overflow as being like an overflow of abundance, right? Overflow of love and prosperity. So this could be also money, okay, for sure, coming in and plentiful, okay? It's overwhelming, okay? I feel that very strongly, you guys. So maybe you guys are going to come into a big win or lump sum of money. And we have lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. Some of you guys are very spiritual. Maybe you're very connected to your you know, your, your family, your heritage, your, uh, you know, the generations that came before you on a spiritual level. Um, lay of the land, it makes it feel like you guys are learning a lot about who you are and you're going real deep, okay? So, okay, I'm definitely getting ancestral lineage here. So let's take a look. Let's see what's going on in the energy for you guys. Cancer, my spiritual beings of the zodiacs. <laughs> I feel like Cancer and Pisces are definitely the spiritual folks of the Zodiac signs. I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I'm a Cancer Sun, Pisces rising, so I don't know. I, I guess I'm a little biased. All right, so Cancer, what happened in the recent past? Give me some energy for my Cancers out there. What do they need to know? What's coming in? All right, we have the star. So in the past, maybe you didn't feel like you were worthy. Maybe you questioned if something was going to happen for you. You may have felt like... Something wasn't working. You may have not been optimistic about something happening. Your love life. Maybe there was something that happened and you, you're you recovering from something. In a recent past, it feels like you're, you're in recovery mode. You're healing. Yeah, two of cups came out. And the page of swords. So there's something in the past. Maybe a love interest, a love partner. Maybe you went separate ways with them because the page of swords is like you're not talking to them. You're not communicating. Maybe there's some kind of petty argument or fight. It does feel like maybe someone who may have said something with their words, like I'm getting that Mars and Gemini energy. Someone may have been really, really mean or nasty with their words, okay? Um, I feel the energy in the past that this is someone you may have had a, a breakup or downfall with, and that could be why the star is in reverse. feels like as, as soon as you ended things with this person, you may have felt like, oh my gosh, everything's over. You may have invested and in, um, heavily in this connection. It feels like you had high hopes and wishes and desires with that star, so this could be an Aquarius for sure. The current energy is hangman. Um, okay, Piscean energy, Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Empress. Cancer. I mean, the energy is telling me that maybe there's someone that, again, you're still not talking to, you're not communicating with, but you still see an opportunity for growth, for something to develop. It does feel like with the hangman, you're trying to figure things out. This could be you both kind of stuck in suspension. There's, there's a stagnant energy here. But it does feel like you and your person cancer are using this time to really think and process things, to look at things from a different perspective and point of view. And maybe that's necessary. So even if you guys are not having open dialogue and communication, it does feel like with the Empress, something is still going to be, um, something is still thriving or has the potential to thrive. Someone is still very much um, invested in this. There's still an idea of love and care, you know, but it does feel like communication is a little bit problematic. So let's find out some more. External to you is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Missed opportunity. There's that Nine of Cups, right? That overflow and plenty. We have that Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So someone is working on making a decision. And it really comes down to what makes them happy. What makes them fulfilled. And I feel like 
cancer that's you and so i feel like on your mind right now is thinking about you know how to get to that complete happiness bliss and they're thinking about their future seven of pentacles is thinking about what's to come seven weeks from now seven months from now seven years to now and what do they need to do right now in order to get some kind of long-term satisfaction wealth prosperity stability security they're thinking long term so I feel like an ace of pentacles in the verse is your person recognizing that there's been a big falling out and there was a missed opportunity on their end, right? So maybe this falling out with you, Cancer, has led to a big, big, you know, situation here where they're now assessing their light because they missed out on something that could have been of great value to them in the long term. So the two wands suggesting that someone is ready to make a decision and it could be some... You know, there could be two options, two people, to pass, right? Two wands could be that energy for sure. Maybe they're just not sure how to move forward. Oh, six of cups came out. So the outcome is a six of cups reconciliation. I feel like someone is definitely reminiscing of the past, good times, memories, experience. I'm seeing the energy of nostalgia. And so there is someone from the past that you could be definitely connecting with, or this could be someone new again. And it feels like you have that, like, oh my gosh, how we met before, right? It's a soulmate card. So, you know, you definitely could be connecting with a soulmate or having some kind of reunion or reuniting. Two of Pentacles in a verse and a death in a verse. This suggests that someone is having to drop something. Two of Pentacles, that they've been going back and forth, that they've been fiddling and fiddling, if they've been hesitant. If they've been juggling, right? There's the energy of letting that go. And there could be an ending. Literally, the death is here. So there could be an ending of a situation because there was a need for change. So it feels like in this case, the death is good. It's bringing forth the necessary change that's going to allow you and your person to reconnect and reconcile with the Six of Cups. So I like it. Let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight for you guys. Cancer, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. All right, let's take a look at the challenge, right? What is the challenge for Cancer? One card, this is for the end of February going into March. And we have the Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups in a verse suggesting that if there's been a lot of confusion, if your emotions has been getting the best of you, you've been overflowing with emotions and feelings, there's clarity coming through, right? There's the energy of breaking through illusions and seeing seeing what actually matters, seeing the truth of a situation. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, you could be finding yourself a little bit more emotional. You are cancer, you are full of water perhaps. And so yeah, there is the energy of getting clarity. What the, what do these emotions mean? So give me the energy in a recent past. We have the star, we have the two cups, page of swords, the justice and the eight of wands. So in the past, I definitely feel like there was someone that's been wanting to reach out maybe after a period of, you know, maybe no talking or silence, you know, page of swords and verse. Maybe you guys have just been doing like, you know, um, conversation online, on social media, but maybe it was very inconsistent. Someone has actually been wanting to make things right with you. The justice is indicating this could be a Libra, but I'm seeing the energy of like, I want to reach out. I want to communicate. Hell, this could even be travel. Someone may have been wanting to travel and come see you because there's the energy of I need to make things right with cancer. I need to do the right thing. I need to step up to the plate. I need to bring more balance and harmony to the connection. You know, it feels like there's someone who is saying, I'm taking fault for this and I need to now take accountability. I need to do something about this. And it feels with the two of cups could definitely be your person, your other half. Yeah, we have the six of cups. I mean, someone in the past has been wanting to reconcile. I'm seeing the energy of like, I've been wanting to reconnect with you for a really long time, but maybe they haven't said that. Maybe there has been some kind of indirect communication. And maybe also your person wanted to do it uh, do it the right way, right? The, and the justice card could be like, no, I have to do it this way. This way is the wrong way. I can't skip this step. So yeah, I feel like someone has been wanting to come back and reconnect with you maybe after a falling out or some kind of really harsh communication. Now, the hangman is here. Why is the hangman? I almost feel like the hangman could be the simple fact that someone is getting involved with someone else that maybe they maybe they moved on maybe there's some kind of interference it could be a third party give me the energy of hangman or someone is just not sure if you are still willing to nurture the connection if you're still invested yeah the empress is here again we have the page of cups in reverse and we have oof eight of swords okay 
Um, I'm seeing the energy of someone in their head, a lot of anxieties and worries about if their offer, if their uh, apology is even going to do anything, if it, if it even means anything, if it's going to maybe even heal this connection. I'm seeing a heart here. So I'm seeing someone's heart chakra be activated right now. Now, the energy of the Page of Cups is telling me someone may have certainly hurt you or caused you some kind of emotional pain and they're now wanting to like make up for it. So someone is like stressed out about this because this Eight of Swords is coming out on top of everything where someone is like, oh my gosh, I'm panicking, stressed, anxious, worried about if their apology is even going to go the distance, right? Is it going to change? Is it going to be accepted by cancer? And that could be something someone is really unsure about. And then we have the... Two of Pentacles. So again, there's the energy of letting go of something, letting go of this struggling energy, letting go of this other um, this other person, right? The Two of Pentacles could be a sacrifice, okay? It could be sacrificing anything, sacrificing this extracurricular activity, sacrificing this drug habit. There's something that has to be sacrificed in order to allow this to move forward, in order for things to get unstuck, right? Because the hangman is here. And someone is now realizing and seeing that. Now, give me the Nine of Cups. What would make them happy? What would make this person happy? Well, the Nine of Wands and we have the Seven of Swords. So it's interesting because someone is recognizing that, you know, maybe they did do something that was, um, you know, they cheated you, they robbed you, they deceived you. And it's the energy of the Nine of Wands. I want to make up for it. I want to overcome this. The Nine of Wands is like perseverance, is dedication, saying I haven't given up. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Wands, action, right? motivation in order to overcome something here where they did do something where the seven of swords hurt you lied cheated deceived you the seven of swords can also be strategizing so it does feel like your person is willing to go through deep depths okay in order to strategize on how they can make this better with the nine of wands because they're not giving up so give me the energy of the seven of pentacles what are they thinking about in their future to come all right, four of pentacles and a nine of cups. So there's that nine of cups overflowing of feelings, plentiful of emotions. There's energy of wishes fulfilled, granted. I'm, I'm seeing the energy of your person saying like, you would make me happy. Having you just by my side would make me happy because someone is holding on to the idea of, of something here. I mean, I'm seeing, I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles. They're holding on to the idea of something here. And maybe there is something they're having to get rid of or let go of regarding being a bachelor, being single, being independent. Seven of Pentacles, now they're thinking about their future. Now they're thinking about maybe partnership. Nine of Cups, their happiness. So it feels like maybe they're not happy as just being single anymore. Maybe they thought that they'd be happy in this place, but in this energy, but they're not. Give me the energy of the Two of Wands. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Seven of Wands in a verse. This is interesting because someone is now recognizing they have to make a decision in order to move past some kind of really difficult burden, some situation that they didn't fight for in the past. There's the energy of in the past, I didn't fight for you. I didn't really do enough. So now I'm willing to. So the Six of Cups coming into the outcome is that reconciliation and the devil. Yeah, someone here could definitely, I'm seeing temptation. I'm seeing maybe a Capricorn for some of you guys. But I think the death card is indicating that someone is recognizing that I, I gotta let this go. Two of pentacles in reverse. I gotta let this go. This drug habit, this addiction, right? This third party, this karmic, whatever this is, the devil, someone is freeing themselves from it because the two of pentacles in reverse is like weighing options, recognizing that this has to leave. I don't have room for this anymore. And so the death is telling me, yeah, there's an ending and there's some kind of change happening. And this change is bringing forth this reconciliation that you and your purse have been wanting to, to have for a very long time. You and this person is whoever this is. So the Six of Cups is here. And then we have the Two of Swords in the verse. There is that decision, cutting out something. Making ahead of a heart decision as to how you want to move forward and something has to go. And that devil Two pentacles in a verse. There's something that has to let go of, drop it, cut it out, free yourself from. And that is going to bring that transformation in. That Scorpio energy right here. It could be literally a Scorpio, but the Six of Cups is here. So it does feel like you're going to get what you want. Your wish is your, your fulfillment, right? That Nine of Cups energy overflowing plenty. It feels like you both want this. And so I do see that happening. So Cancer, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I appreciate your love and support on my channel and you all have a great week. All right, take care.